this problem, we have a trebuchet with a launch angle of 30 degrees, a height at launch of 5 meters, and a distance traveled of 50 meters. We want to find the hang time and initial velocity. This is a pretty advanced projectile motion problem, so I'm going to leave out the basics of projectile motion and focus on the math and logic for solving this particular problem. We will be using three formulas for the projectile motion problem, along with some basic trigonometry to solve this problem. The first step of this problem is to write out the position formula for both the x and y direction. We can then plug in the numbers that we were given. Otto, we have three unsolved variables, time and the velocities in the x and y direction. For the x portion, let's rearrange it so v sub x, or velocity sub x, is on one side. This leaves us with v sub x equal to 50 meters over time. Now, if there's only a way that we can relate v sub x to v sub y, so we can plug v sub x into the position of y formula. Looking at the diagram, the launch angle is a right triangle. This means that the tan of 30 degrees equals velocity sub y over velocity sub x. Rearranging this, we get v sub x times tangent of 30 equals v sub y. Now, let's go back to the y position formula we can take the conversion formula we found of v sub x times tangent of 30 equals v sub y and plug it into the y position formula. We can then take the v sub x equals 50 meters over time and substitute it into this formula. We notice that time can be canceled out so it can be removed from the velocity portion of the equation. We can then add up the right side portion of the equation and subtract it to move it over to the other side of the equation. After that, we can divide by the acceleration due to gravity portion of the equation to get the time by itself on one side of the equation. Now we must find the square root to find the hang time. We get a hang time of 2.63 seconds. The hang time is the same for both the x and y direction, so we can plug in the hang time into the x formulas to get the velocity in the x direction at launch. We get a velocity in the x direction of 19.01 meters per second. Now to find the velocity in the y direction. We can plug the v sub x into the tan of 30 formula. We get a velocity in the y direction of 10.98 meters per second. Finally, to get the initial velocity, we must plug v sub x and v sub y into the Pythagorean theorem. After doing so, we get a starting velocity of 21.95 meters per second. Your answer might vary slightly depending on how you round it. That concludes this video. Hopefully I earned a like, share, or subscription. If you like this video, you may also enjoy these videos.